All right, so here we are rolling into week number two, and it's going to be a super exciting week. Um, it's also going to be a really typical week. It's going to look virtually identical to last week. You've got a couple of thought primers to do, one due on Thursday, one due on Sunday. They're structured virtually identically to the thought primers you completed last week. So you'll want to work through those thought primers step by step, and then eventually you'll get to the end successfully of both of them. Um, this week in front of us are questions about the nature of reality. Um, what exists, and what does it mean to say that something's real? Uh, you've probably had the experience where you communicate some idea to a friend of yours, uh, and the friend responds by saying like, oh yeah, in your dreams, or oh, you must have been dreaming. Um, what do they mean when they say that? What they mean is that whatever the mental event was that you had, or whatever the idea was that you were entertaining, doesn't correspond to objective reality in the way that things actually are. It was simply a, a figment of your imagination. Well, that raises a question for us. What does it mean to say that something's are real, and, and what exists? What are the kinds of things that exist as features of reality? So we'll be exploring questions like that from various angles this week. There's a couple of things I want you to take particular note of. In Thought Primer number three, you'll see that right at the beginning, I'm asking you to open up and download a copy of your Philosophic Inquiry number one prompt. I do not want you completing this assignment this week. I don't think you could meaningfully complete it this week. I just want you to see the kinds of questions you're going to be responding to here in a couple of weeks. And in particular, what I want you to take note of is that as you work through each week's reading and video lectures, you're going to see that the questions you're being asked uh, on Philosophic Inquiry number one are questions we're exploring each week. So a really smart strategy would be to take notes uh, on your Philosophic Inquiry number one prompt um, that'll help you later on when you go to more formally respond to the questions on that assignment. Second thing I want you to take note of in Thought Primer number three is that you will be reading a very short excerpt from Plato's Republic called The Allegory of the Cave. You may have already read this, um, but essentially it's an allegory in which some dude who's been locked in a, at the bottom of a cave for his entire existence walks out of that cave and sees the world in all of its complexity. Well, now, the story's an allegory. In other words, it's not just about some guy that's literally trapped in a cave and that literally walks out of it. It's a, it's a story that's trying to reveal something to us um, symbolically. And so as you read that story, I want you to think about what this person's journey may symbolize that we might be able to relate to in our own lives. Um, thought primer number four, take note. Um, at the very beginning, I'm asking you to respond to some questions on questionnaires. So you'll need to open up these two questionnaires. I strongly encourage you to uh, make printouts of those questionnaires for yourself because you'll want to be looking at how you responded to the different questions as you work through the, the video lectures in this thought primer. Um, last thing, I think it's the last thing, all the way at the bottom here, I'm giving you a reading called The Case for Panpsychism by Philip Goff. I think he's at Oxford University. I can't remember exactly where. Um, but he offers a really interesting argument that I want you to, to think about. Ordinarily, we think of consciousness, right, your you-ness, as a, a feature that somehow emerged from your material self. So there was a sperm, there was an egg, consciousness did not exist, they come together, and then at some point in your fetal development, your unis came into existence, your consciousness came into existence. And what Goff says is, yes, that is the way we've traditionally thought about consciousness, that it's a, a property that's emergent from material reality. That at some point some switch gets flipped and all of a sudden you exist as something more than just a, a, a bag of meat. But Goff says that doesn't really make sense. It would make more sense to think that consciousness is the, a fundamental feature of reality and that physical reality is kind of stacked on top of or emerges out of that. Um, I've linked to you uh, here a couple of links to a podcast that Goff did, the philosopher Philip Goff did, um, with Joe Rogan where he explores these ideas. Um, and that might be helpful to you to listen to if you're not a Joe Rogan fan, I get it. But it's a really interesting conversation that these two have about the nature of consciousness and its relationship to physical 
reality and our bodies. All right, so that's it. Have a really great week. Don't forget that part of both of your thought primers is to head on over to this discussion board and get into it with us and uh, explore these ideas in these discussion threads uh, that we have for thought primers number three and four. All right, have a fantastic week. If anything comes up that I can help with, do not hesitate to reach out and let me know.